It is seven minutes to nine. There will be no such thing as a typical family in the next decade, according to the new head of the Family and Parenting Institute, which holds its annual conference in London today. Catherine Rake is that chief executive. She's on the line now. Good morning to you. Good morning. You also say that politicians risk falling into a trap if they attempt to preserve the traditional family structure through the tax system. What, 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 who, who is you aiming that at? Well, I mean, I think what today's report is showing is that if politicians are working with a model in their minds of a nuclear family whereby mum and dad meet in their 20s, have a couple of children, stay, get married, stay married, um, he goes out to work, she stays at home to look after the children, what, what today's report shows is that that, that that model is being seriously challenged. But what with... they might say to you is that whatever is happening currently, yep. all the research suggests that something based on that model, not that that model exactly but something based on it is the best way for children to grow up so in, in a sense if you can bring the situation back to that or aim to do it then it's not a bad thing to do well I absolutely understand the desire to, to support stable loving relationships in which to bring up children but there are two things one is um, stable loving relationships are not exclusively marriages um, and the other is that there's no evidence internationally that um, by that putting in a tax break is actually the way to um, support those stable relationships but so, there is evidence isn't there that we, in terms of bringing up children, that marriages tend to, to last longer than simply cohabiting arrangements. They don't always plainly, but in general they do, and that seems to be a good thing. So when people like the Conservatives think of ways in which to bolster marriage, then they're not necessarily barking up the wrong tree. Well, there's plenty of evidence that stable relationships um, help children and uh, improve children's outcomes, but right across Europe we've seen an increase in separation and divorce, we've seen fewer marriages, we've seen more cohabitation. And politicians have got a choice now, really, whether what they do is actually meet families where they are and meet their needs where they are, or they try and turn the clock back. And what we're saying is we don't see any evidence of uh, tax breaks actually working. And given that we're under very constrained economic circumstances, I think very serious uh, questions have to be asked about the use of public money um, to put money into a tax break which has no proven impact I think would be a mistake at the moment and in fact um, we know that, that those tax breaks were dismantled for, um, uh, for exactly that reason that there was no evidence that they actually worked. So you say just leave well alone let, let the family evolve as it seeks to evolve? I think what we need to do is give families support where they are. What families tell us all the time is they don't want to be judged for the choices that they're, they're making. What they want to do is to have support for, for, for the kind of families that they live in and those families are very rich and very complex and we know that um, you know that, 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 that there are lots of positive trends uh, in family life so we're getting increasing grandparental involvement, we're getting increasing involvement from across the family and what families need is support for the kind of structures that, 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 that they actually live in rather than for some idealised norm that, that is no longer there. We'll be coming to the, back to this subject, no doubt, again and again in the run-up to the election for the time being. Though. Catherine Ray, thank you very much.